Hey guys, Alex Hamilton, E-Rise Education, Brown University Class of 2017. Right now I'm standing at University Hall in the heart of Brown's campus. In this beautiful afternoon, in the day of my fifth reunion, I'm going to show you all around campus. Brown is located on Providence's east side, in the College Hill neighborhood. We'll start today on the southern end of campus, along Hope Street, where you'll find Young Orchard, a series of on-campus apartments. Across Hope, Giddings is home to the Anthropology Department, which faces Steinhardt, home to our music practice rooms. All the way on the southeast corner of campus is Perkins, my sophomore year res hall. West, you'll see construction of the new Brook Street Res Hall to accommodate the growing number of students on campus, which sits beside Vartan Gregorian Quad, also known as New Dorm. I spent my junior year at New Dorm, which contains suite-style residences, as well as a late-night diner-style restaurant called Joe's, which serves salads, quesadillas, and the best chicken sandwich on campus, the Spicy With. To the east, Grad Center holds a collection of towers that contain dorms and common spaces, including a gym called the Bear's Lair, and our famed GCB, or Grad Center Bar. Along Charles Field, you'll find the Watson Institute for International Affairs, as well as our Center for Public Policy, beside which is Stephen Robert Hall, a recently constructed expansion to the Watson Institute. 71 Charles Field epitomizes the charm of traditional New England architecture that you'll find near modern buildings like Robert. Barber, by the construction on Brook Street, is a res hall. Fearing House hosts visiting John Carter Brown scholars, to the east, north of Young Orchard, is Orwood, which contains our music library and resources. South, 89 Power Street is a residential rental space. West is the historic Thomas P. Ives House, which faces the President's House. Farther down the hill is the John Brown House. Head north along Benefit Street to reach Charles Field, where you'll see the exterior to Keeney Quad, the largest first-year dorm community on campus. The historic Andrews House holds student health services. Its neighbor is the Anne Mary Brown Memorial, which contains a mausoleum and rare book room. Which brings us to Wayland, a freshman res hall and where I spent my first year on campus. Riston Quad, Wayland's home, is a prime social hub on campus, with various Greek life organizations being found here. A statue of Caesar Augustus sits in the middle of the quad, near the entrance to the largest dining hall on campus, the Sharp Refectory, more affectionately known as the Ratty. The Ratty sits upstairs, and its diverse all-you-can-eat selections makes it one of the hot spots on campus, while the Ivy Room in the basement offers plenty of vegetarian and vegan options. Across Brown Street, we return to Keeney, which features six interconnected dorms, Archibald Bronson, Everett Polin, and Jameson Mead. Each features beautiful lounges, kitchens, and common areas to create a wonderful first year experience for the students who live there. Along Benevolent Street, you'll find administrative spaces and the university's faculty club, as well as views of downtown Providence. Meanwhile, across Wayland is Brown's Maddock Alumni Center, where visitors can enjoy furnishings reminiscent of the building's early 19th century heritage. 
back on Riston, cut southeast to find the rest of the university's Greek life housing, as well as the quieter side to the Ratty. This is a shortcut back to Thayer, the campus's main north-south thoroughfare. Where we'll once again find the Watson Institute, which has some pretty amazing study rooms and a beautiful garden. Nearby, 135 Thayer holds our Modern Culture and Media Department, while just north, Kasser House holds the Math Department and Math Resource Center, which hosts daily tutoring sessions. Across George Street is Geochem, where you can get a glimpse of some of Brown's Humanities buildings. Continue past Brook Street to find 180 George Street, which hosts the Center for Computation and Visualization. The building also contains Brown's highly ranked Applied Math Department, as does 182 George. That brings us to the recently reconstructed Barrison Holly Building, home to the oldest engineering program in the Ivy League. The Prince Lab and Engineering Resource Center are some of the other resources that compose our engineering department, which is also one of the oldest in the country. West, Marston holds departments for various languages, and it sits across our Department of Physics. From here, you can see the Science Library, or SciLi, our tallest building at 14 stories. SciLi faces Macmillan Hall, another part of the Chemistry Department. Everyone at Brown who takes Orgo spends a lot of time at these buildings. In addition to the stacks, the SciLi contains various study rooms, a mezzanine and basement, as well as the Science Center for tutoring. Of our five libraries, students often spend the most time here. To its side lies the CIT for computer science. Across there, the Metcalf Research Building hosts the Department of Cognitive, Linguistic, and Psychological Sciences. Walk through Soldier's Arch, which commemorates World War I veterans of the university, to reach the Simmons Quad. The Lincoln Field Building hosts Earth Sciences, while Hegeman and Caswell are dorms. The quad is named for Ruth Simmons, former president of Brown, and the first African-American woman to head an Ivy League university. To the right, Lyman Hall hosts theater arts and performance studies. At the head of the quad lies a statue of Marcus Aurelius, Sales and Friedman hold classrooms, while nearby Maxi Hall hosts sociology. And this brings us to the heart of campus, the main green. The first thing you'll notice is the John Carter Brown Library, which contains a reading room and rare book collection. Next door, we revisit Friedman, a classroom space, as well as Sales which contains the largest organ of its type in the world and hosts an annual Halloween concert. Solomon Center sits in front of Lyman Hall and contains two auditoriums for lecture classes and its neighbor, Fonts House, is the student center. The main green is the center of campus activity and hosts events such as the spring weekend concert and campus dance, as you see by the setup. At the head of Fonts lies Bronze Bruno, the oldest of the four statues around campus. Fonts contains the Stephen Robert Campus Center, a campus market, as well as study rooms, galleries, and common areas. On the main floor, you'll find the Blue Room, an eatery that serves sandwiches and fresh baked muffins. In the basement, you'll find the Underground, a small performance space, 
as well as pool tables and a multi-purpose room for events such as banquets and dances. Back outside, sitting between the main green and the quiet green to the west, is Manning Hall, which houses the University Chapel and the Half and Refer Museum of Anthropology. In the back is Cary Tower. Left of Manning is Hope College, the second building constructed and the oldest dorm on campus. And in the middle is University Hall, home to university administration and the oldest building on campus, constructed in 1770. Adjacent is Slater Hall, another old dorm, as well as Rhode Island Hall, home to the Joukowsky Institute for Archaeology and the Ancient World. Here on the quiet green, you'll often find people reading in the sunshine or admiring university sculptures. Of course, there's also our famous Van Wickel gates, where students pass through once during convocation and again during commencement. Across Prospect Street is the John D. Rockefeller Library, or The Rock, which specializes in humanities, social sciences, and fine arts, and contains a digital lab, as well as various study rooms. Along College Street is the John Hay Library, home to our rare books and special collections. Past that is the List Art Building, home to the Bell Gallery, classrooms, and studio space. The historic Gerard House hosts East Asian Studies and weekly Chinese tea time for language students. And down the hill, you'll find the Rhode Island Superior Court, which sits right next to the college building of the Rhode Island School of Design. At the foot of College Hill, near downtown Providence, you'll find Memorial Park. You'll also find the Providence River, which is illuminated on Saturday nights throughout the summer for the city's water fire celebration. Back on Main Street is the RISD Museum and RISD Store. You'll also find Washington Place, home to administration as well as illustration studies in the Design Center. The nice thing about RISD and Brown, besides their campuses being so close together, is the cooperation between the schools. Aside from the Brown RISD dual degree program, students at either institution can cross-register courses and access either school's facilities. Students frequently walk to either campus. The First Baptist Church in America, which you see here, near RISD's campus, is the site of Brown's undergraduate commencement. Brown, as the seventh oldest university in the nation, was also the first to accept students regardless of religious affiliation. Behind the church, you'll find the RISD Beach with nearby Homer Hall and South Hall. Carr House provides an example of Queen Anne style architecture on campus. Hiking back up Waterman, you'll once again find List, as well as RISD's recently completed North Hall, a dorm. Back atop the hill, Robinson Hall holds Brown's renowned econ department. East, Paige Robinson holds classrooms and mail services, and nearby is the Brown Center for Students of Color. Along Brown Street, you'll find the Departments of Literary Arts and English. Across Walter Hall and Arnold House is the home to Brown's Ecology, Evolutionary Biology, and Environmental Studies programs. Past that is the Arnold Laboratory, home to the Herbarium. Past the intersection of Waterman and Thayer, you'll see our CIT, as well as tons of off-campus restaurants. Minden is our tallest dorm on campus. Back on Thayer, you'll find one of the hottest hangout spots for Brown students, with tons of independent restaurants and chains alike as well as the Brown Bookstore. Here, you'll find academic supplies and all the apparel you need to show your Brunonian pride. 257 Thayer, a set of off-campus apartments, sits near the brand new Nelson Center for Entrepreneurship. Along Olive Street, you'll find the Granoff Center for the Creative Arts, as well as Sydney Frank Hall, home to state-of-the-art labs for our renowned neuroscience department, as well as those of molecular biology, cell biology, and biochemistry. 
Under construction is the Linman Performing Arts Center. West, green holds our history department, and you'll also see our campus Hillel. If you walk alongside Sydney Frank, you'll see our sky bridge, through which you can easily access the University Biomedical Center to the west. And this brings us to the Pembroke campus, named for Pembroke College, a woman's institution that existed before Brown became co-ed in the early 1970s. Pembroke Hall hosts our Institute for the Humanities, while Emory Woolley is a dorm that connects to our second largest dining hall, Vernie Woolley, or the V-Dub. Past the Pembroke Seal, Alumni Hall hosts a performance space that holds various school events and dances, while Smitty B holds classrooms. Miller, Andrews, and Metcalf are other dorms and contain Andrews Commons, one of the best dining halls on campus, with pizza, pasta, sandwiches, stir fry, pho, and more. Champlin and Morris sit beside Emory Woolley and our other first year dorms. There's also the new Pembroke Residential Complex. Across the street, 315 Thayer offers a collection of single dorms. Other buildings on the north of campus include Machado House, a language-based program house, as well as nearby Rochambeau, home to French and Hispanic studies. While on Brook Street, Brown will soon be opening a new dorm focused on student wellness. Pembroke Field is home to volleyball courts and plenty of green space for recreation. Which brings us to Brown Athletics. The Nelson Fitness Center holds plentiful exercise space, as well as a cafe and an aquatic center, while the OMAC has indoor track and court space. You'll find lots of pickup and IM basketball here. Varsity plays at the Pizzatola, while Meehan is home to our ice hockey team. To the east, you'll find the other athletic facilities of the Division I Bears, including practice fields and homes of the lacrosse, soccer, and baseball teams. The Bears football team plays nearly a mile north from most of campus at Brown Stadium. Speaking of being off campus, there's still a bit more to Brown, and if we head back downtown, we'll find the Brown School of Professional Studies. Past that is the Alpert School of Medicine, which is ranked among the top in the nation for both education and research. Alpert also works with the undergraduate school to offer the program in liberal medical education allowing students to apply for admission to both Brown and Alpert during high school. Nearby, you'll find our top-ranked School of Public Health. Stay south and head back across the river and you'll find India Point Park, one of the best places for recreation in the city. Just north, you'll find Wickenden Street, which contains a collection of eclectic shops and restaurants, and serves as one of the largest centers for off-campus activity. Of course, Thayer takes the cake here, with plenty of options such as Eastside Pockets, Bajas, and the Avon Theater. But our last stop today is north of campus with the best views of the city, Prospect Terrace Park, which truly embodies the hope that Brown and the state of Rhode Island symbolize. <laughs>